November is rightly the time of short days and cold nights. And the temptation may be to retreat to the warmth of the fireside easel. But to do that would be missing out on one of the most spectacular events in the wildlife calendar. Well, as you can see, I've got the warmth of the fireside, I've got my easel or my table, so let's get on with the painting. Every painting begins with the scaffolding, that is the sketching, the drawing, and that's what I need for this now. Very simple colours, basically white, red, blue, yellow and brown. I've got to say I really enjoyed watching those salmon jump and leap up the weir. The excitement of it, the drama of it, the nobility of it. They were of course putting their bodies on, their, on the line um, putting their lives on the line for the sake of their offspring that they would never see, that they would die producing, creating. But it's such a, such a powerful example of nature at its most glorious. I mean, what end could be more glorious in the truest sense of the word? What I've tried to do here is not just give an anatomically correct um, snapshot of a moment in nature. I've tried to use a lot of artistic license. Water does not look like that. But when you slow it down, you start to see all these ripples, all these rivulets, and indeed all these different colors. In a snapshot, or as the human eye sees it, it's not quite like this, of course, but I think I'm entitled to jazz it up a little bit. Why not make it as much a beautiful event as possible? Because it's the fish, of course, that steals the show, and rightly so. 